Hey guys, this is Jessica with EDM NYC, and we're here with trans superstar John O'Callaghan. We're happy to be here. Uh, I can only speak on behalf of myself and EDM NYC. Um, I know this is your first time at Soundgarden Hall. What did you think when you looked around the place? I was I really impressed, to be honest, because um, I've been in Philadelphia a few times, and I didn't know there was uh, like a really big club like this for trans. I, the guy, the manager, told me he holds 2,000 people. You know, that's pretty, that's massive, and. Uh, you know, the lights, the sound, everything looks really good, so hopefully uh, it continues because unfortunately these days you see so many new clubs coming through that, you know, I, I think eventually the money runs out and unfortunately they go under, but hopefully in a place like this, looking at some of the people that books uh, Dash Berlin, Paul Van Dyke, hopefully it continues and uh, it'll be good for Philadelphia. I wanted to congratulate you initially on your uh, recent double disc uh, album, Subculture 2013. I noticed that it starts off initially, of course, with uplifting trance, and then it transitions to a more deep, darker um, you know, sound. Yeah. I wanted to know, what was the process you chose in choosing those tracks for your compilation? Um, well, I actually tried to, at the start, have it a little bit more progressive um, with the Marlowe stuff and uh, Rex Mundy. Uh, but because there were so many good trance tracks, I kind of went into uplifting trance pretty quickly after about two tracks. I only realized after I finished it and I looked at the CD, I was like, well, Ali and Field is track three, I think, on CD one. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, it's, it's basically just uh, what I thought was the best music at the time. And, and, you know, for a CD for people to have to look back at and say, you know, I was in Ibiza or I was in EDC and then, you know, the big tracks of the year, including some new stuff and uh, tracks into exclusive tracks for 2013. So it was kind of a mix of uh, what I think would be a good CD and also what I think were the best tracks at that time. Are there any events that kind of stood out in your head that That's kind of true. influenced you? Yes, that kind of influenced you for the um, um, Well, Ibiza is a very big uh, part of uh, trance for me in my year because um, I'm there probably six or eight times during the summer and uh, you get to test out everything really because Ibiza is an open uh, ground for trance music. When you're there every two weeks, people are asking for the same tracks, or you know, maybe people are asking for a track that you maybe weren't going to play, and then you go, maybe maybe people are catching on to this, you know. So throughout the summer, tracks kind of grow legs and uh, and become like a kind of an underground hit because um, obviously it's not you know in the charts this kind of trance music, but. Um, I think this summer one track that was really big was um, uh, there was a remix of Lange's Follow Me but it was never released and uh, but every single week I was there people were like holding up their phones play this play this play this so that kind of came an, an unofficial anthem of uh, the summer uh, unfortunately I couldn't put it on the CD because it wasn't <laughs> actually released it was like a, a bootleg remix I noticed that you worked with a number of talented artists and I, I wanted to know which artist do you think you had the most in-studio chemistry with? Just, there's a few, to be honest. Uh, like some of my my best friends over there, like Neil Scarborough, Brian Carney, people who I grew up with, going to clubs before any of us ever produced, you know. And then to be sitting in the studio trying to make a track that we know would be good in the club because we've been there ourselves. Um, over there, also uh, working with Giuseppe Ardiani. Um, he's one of my uh, like massive inspirations throughout the years and, and to be friends with him now and it's actually kind of weird to like know him <laughs> because I've always like looked up to him and, and recently I've I just finished a track with Ronsky Speed and um, that was actually a really easy process as well. Very very good guy to work with and um, I'm going to play it tonight so I think it's going to come out in uh, February or March, new track with me and Ronsky. So who do you think we should be on the lookout for in 2013? Which artist do you think is going to make their big step forward? Somebody for 2013 in, in trance music. Well, Schneider, who I've talked about, I think is, is already kind of established. You know, he's, he's going to break through even more. And then you have Thomas Aredi from Argentina. Um, there's a guy from the, from the UK called Darren Porter. Um, I think he's living in Germany. Um, but he's uh, kind of come from nowhere and uh, producing really good, technically good as well, uplifting trance. So once once you can hear that somebody is can produce technically well, mm -hmm. usually um, the you know the music will come as well. The hardest thing these days is to find tracks that are playable in a DJ set because so many people 
are into producing and making music but don't actually realize what it sounds like in a club so to to find people who are making tracks that sound good in clubs is, is really important and i think darren porter manuel so schneider thomas heredia people like that are, are doing good we all know that you've been announced for Beirut and Lebanon and a uh, state of trance in the Netherlands at Donbass. Yep. How are you feeling about that? You excited? Yeah, it's massive. Uh, so, so many people internationally go to these events worldwide. You know, you, you, you're at a state of trance in Donbass, you take a walk around, you meet people from our, from America, Australia, Argentina, Russia. Like people actually treat it as a little bit of a vacation and they go to right. these places for a few days. So to be part of that and to play in front of such a big audience is massive. And, I think it's a testament to the guys at Armada and Alda to be doing it for so long, but, but to be still like amazingly successful and selling out, I'm pretty sure all of them, you know? <laughs> yeah. and, and people would say, oh, trance music, oh, God, no. It's not too big anymore. How, like, look at the state of trance. Every single one is sold out, probably 12 events worldwide, so. So when you're coming back to the US, it's gonna be around March. So with WMC approaching, what parties can we expect to see you at? Um, at the moment, there's um, three or four always uh, in discussion. Miami is always a little bit last minute, apart from Ultra, which is um, advertised way in advance. But the trans parties are always kind of uh, confirmed uh, end of January, February. At the moment, I'm doing a, a boat party with Mayan and Shane54 on the Thursday. And then on the Friday, I'm in a club with uh, BT and Shogun. And uh, there's two others which are not confirmed yet. So. All right, well, um, thank you. It's been a pleasure. Cheers. Um, I'm, with Jess I'm Jessica here with EDM NYC and John O'Callaghan. We'll see you guys soon. Thanks. Hello, what's Hello. Hi, I'm Ron. Um, my, na my name is John. I'm uh, Ron and John. Ron and John, Ron. And this is our new single, Ron. Yes, sincerely yours. I'm John O'Callaghan. Pitching uh, Ronski Speed and at EDM NYC. Cheers.